Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be solving the ICAS 2021 question 38. Question 38 is perhaps one of the hardest questions that you could see. And why is this? It's not impossible to solve. It's really hard because given the time limits, it's not very easy to come up with the equation and come, like to solve. So I recommend you guys to pause this video and find out the answer. So this, they want the value of this. So give it a shot on your own and then resume the video. So let's get into it without any further ado. So guys, for question, this one let's take this to be y this to be x and this to be z so x y z so now we know the properties x plus y is equal to 161 and then we know y plus z is equal to 188 and we know z plus x is equal to 165 so we know these, right? Okay, so now what do we do with knowing them? So we know x plus y is equal to 166. So if you see all these three equations, we have two x's. We have two x's and then two y's and then two z's. So to come up with an equation, it's fairly simple at this stage. 2x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to that 188 plus 161 plus 165, which adds up to 514. So all those digits add up to 514. So now this 514, if, to simplify, one second. So to simplify this, if we divide this whole thing by 2, we get, x plus y plus z, right? Now that's equal to, you have to divide it by 2 on both the sides to make the equation same. So 514 divided by 2 gives us 257. 257. Now, what you can do, you know, we know that y plus z is equal to, y plus z is equal to 188. So you can substitute that in. So, doing wait one second guys my marker doesn't work now for some reason so now we know that y plus z is 188 right so we know x plus 188 is equal to 257 right so then to find x you can write 257 minus 188 can't you and what will this be well if you carry out this as I'm doing, you will get x is equal to 69. So that's how you find x. So we found x. So this is x. So that's, this is 69. How do you find y? That's the question. So we basically have to substitute it just like we did now. So let's do it again. So one second, guys. Okay, now substituting in x plus y plus z is equal to 257, right? Now, to find y, we need y plus x plus z. And what is this? x plus z, yep, is 165. So, this is basically how you do it. y plus, okay, my whiteboard's hanging right now. y plus 165 is equal to 257. So y is equal to 257 minus 165, right? That's equal to 92. So that's how we find y. So now this is 92, and we have x to be 60 something, right? x to be 69. We're taking x to be 69. So just to finish off the problem, 
even though we already got our answer. Just to finish it off, one sec. Yeah, okay. We can, f just to finish it off, we can find the value of Z2. So what's Z basically now? X plus Y, what's that? X plus Y, 161. So 257 minus 161, right? So, because we know, wait, we know that x plus y plus z is equal to 257. So, z plus, what is it? What is x plus y? x plus y, wait a second guys, sorry, yeah, x plus y is 161, so you have to substitute 161 in, so x plus 161 is equal to 257, right, so it's the same, z is then equal to 257 minus 161, that's 96, so z is 96, so that's how we find z, x, and y all together, so sorry guys, this is why just for a matter of fact so after knowing that you want to check if it's true right so yeah you can check it on your own that's fine so this is 96 this is 96 this is 92 and this is 69 and you can add up any of these two you can add up any of these two and you will get the same result. You will get the same result. So 96 plus 92, what's that? Try it on your own. You will get 188. What's 92 plus 69? What's that? 161. And same similarly, what's 69 plus 96? It's the same answer, 165. So guys, that's how we solve the question. Hope you loved it. Do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks guys.